Another big video game franchise is heading to theaters. Swedish developer Mojang is teaming up with Warner Brothers to create a big screen Minecraft movie. No plot details have been revealed, so it's unclear exactly how the film will tie in with the Minecraft world, but we do know that Mojang will have a say in the creative process. Deadline reports that the film is being produced by Roy Lee, who recently delivered another blocky project, the Lego movie. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again, I wasn't listening. And speaking of blocks, Lego is about to unleash two different playsets based on the Ghostbusters. The first is an Ecto-1 replica that comes with all four of the paranormal investigators. And the second is a 30th anniversary set that includes the entire Ghostbusters HQ. The sets became a reality thanks to the Lego Kuso program, where fans can propose and vote on what sets will be released. Not just anything can be made, though. Along with sorting out the necessary licensing deals, Lego also has to make sure that the Kuso sets are actually fun to play with. They have to make sure that the vehicle itself will lend itself well to the buildability, to fans actually creating it. So something that is really going to translate well. So there's a lot of things that go into it. So it's both the vehicle itself and also the licensing partnership. The LEGO Ghostbuster sets will begin rolling out this June. We'll get our hands on other upcoming LEGO play sets later in the show. And we'll also have a look at the new LEGO The Hobbit video game. Gas up your bikes because Trials Fusion will land on April 16th. The game is the follow-up to Trials HD and Trials Evolution and builds on the addictive physics-based gameplay with new tricks and multiplayer modes. The tracks are also more outrageous than ever before, and after you've mastered those, there's a new track creator and editor tool. Trials Fusion is the first game in the series to make the jump onto a Sony console. It'll be available for the PS4 along with the Xbox One, 360, and PC. If you need more stunts, the mobile game Trials Frontier recently launched on iOS devices. The Social Network director David Fincher might be taking on an even bigger tech industry tale. Variety reports that Fincher is in early talks to direct a new biopic about Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. The film is being produced by the same team behind The Social Network, and the script is even penned by that film's screenwriter Aaron Sorkin. Hopefully this means their film will be a big improvement over the recent Ashton Kutcher movie Jobs, which was rushed into production after the real Jobs passed away in 2011. That film bombed at the box office and received terrible reviews, and you can find out what we thought by heading to epdaily.tv. How does somebody know what they want if they've never even seen it? The new Godzilla is going to sound more terrifying than ever. The upcoming movie starring the famous Japanese monster will be mixed in the cutting edge Dolby Atmos format. That means it will have 128 distinct audio channels with support for 64 unique speakers, including ones that are mounted in the ceiling of the theater. The filmmakers say that this helps audiences feel as if they're right in the middle of the action. And other upcoming films like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and X-Men Days of Future Past are also using the format. Not every theater has made the upgrade to Dolby Atmos, so you'll need to check your local listings. Godzilla will rise from the sea on May 16th. Don't expect any more news reports from Ron Burgundy and the rest of his team. Anchorman 1 and 2 director Adam McKay says that there won't be an Anchorman 3. That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Speaking with Empire Magazine, he says the series is done, and despite the fact that he loves working with all of the actors, they want to focus on other projects. We'll let you know if he changes his mind. In the meantime, an R-rated version of Anchorman 2 is playing in theaters, and it's coming to Blu-ray, along with the original PG-13 version and a third unrated version all in the same set. The discs arrive on April 1st. That is going to make one hell of a story. <laughs> Gamers have some big reasons to look forward to this year's E3. Microsoft says that it plans to announce an entire lineup of exclusive new titles at the massive gaming event, including the next Halo. Although the next-gen Halo adventure was first teased at last year's E3, Microsoft has yet to provide any specific details. They're also working on a new Gears of War game for the Xbox One, so expect that to emerge from cover as well. As for Microsoft's biggest rival, Sony, they haven't offered any hints about what they plan to announce, but don't be surprised if you learn more about the next Uncharted game. Nintendo, on the other hand, has confirmed that we'll see a new Zelda game for the Wii U. E3 will kick off this June and we'll be there getting all the goods.